Okay, we're going to be starting in Photoshop. I'm going to bring in a picture of this world right here. I'm going to show you how to make this from this. So first we're going to start out, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can uh, actually see what's going on here. And the first thing, I'm going to rename this layer because it's locked. I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, need to open up our canvas size here. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size. On the width, I'm going to uh, let's make it 4,000 pixels and I want it to expand to the right that's more than plenty uh, grab my move tool with my copied layer selected I'm just gonna slide it over I'm actually gonna drop it to the back going to go to uh, edit transform and flip horizontal. I'm going to now bring it in just to line these two up as as good as I possibly can right here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select that top layer. I'm going to grab my eraser tool. If you hold down on that button it'll show your different options so you want to make sure you're on the eraser tool and not the magic eraser tool because that would really mess you up. Uh, flow is a hundred percent, opacity a hundred percent, and the hardness I'm going to set to zero percent because I, I wanted a very very soft edge. I'm going to crank it up to about we're out in 250 to 300 range, depending on the size of your your work that you're doing. You may have to make it uh, bigger or smaller. See one one pass right there blended that perfectly. You cannot see an edge. Uh, now I'm going to take these two layers, select them both, right click, merge layers. Now it made one layer out of it. I Now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to grab my crop tool and crop to the pictures there because we don't need any extra hanging over. And just to make sure that I'm, my world is actually centered, uh, I'm going to look at my canvas size right now the width is 3624 pixels wide so I need to split that in half so that would be 1812 pixels so I'm gonna to go to view new guide vertical 1812 there so now we see that the world is actually not centered so let's go ahead and we'll center that because that's that would be very important center that okay and grab the crop tool again and just recrop it to that edge right there crop okay now we're good now I can take that uh, line off for now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pen tool. I'm basically going to draw around this world, the upper half, because what we want to do is remove this grid, remove the reflection, because uh, it looks stupid all with the, with the two pieces together. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to zoom in so I can really see what's going on. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click at the top and hold and bring match this contour exactly that looks good I'm gonna click over here okay undo I'm gonna end up having to hit alternate to remove this this one pick point that's shooting out uh, grab right there at the edge of your world hold it and you can create that contour again match it up as perfect as possible It looks good right there. Alternate to remove that. Click out here going straight. 
come up over connect it again now you want to right click inside here hit make hit make selection click OK now we have selected this I'm gonna create a new layer with my the the layer that actually has content on it selected I'm gonna hit control I'm gonna jump up here to the empty layer and I'm gonna hit paste it's gonna paste that selection into my new layer so if I turn off my bottom layer you'll see that's all I have so with the top layer selected I'm gonna come up to edit transform flip vertically it flipped it as you see grab my move tool I'm gonna to move it down here and it'll snap right in place there you have it that right there that looks that looks good in and of itself but we want to actually put a reflection on the floor down here so what we're going to do is actually I could um, I think we can go ahead and merge these two layers together um, let's hold off on that just in case I'm going to create a new layer so I'm going to select the bottom layer with the one with the world in it I'm going to grab my pen tool and we want to draw a perfect circle around this around this globe alternate to to remove that other pick point otherwise it assumes the contour that you're trying to go and I have yet to see it do it perfectly every time so just keep uh, going around here just want to match it up as perfect as possible That looks pretty good right there. Okay, there's actually a line around there. You can't see it. A, uh, a right click, hit make selection. Now we've got that selected. On our, our we're gonna go ahead and uh, copy because we're on the layer with the actual globe. Come up, come up here to our uh, our uh, new layer and paste it in there. Now, if you turn your other layers off, all you have is the world. That's what we want. So now we're going to take that with that layer selected, come up to edit, transform, flip vertically. Now we have our worlds upside down. We're going to move it down here and line it up as best as possible, just just barely touching or not touching. You don't want them to overlap any at all. That would look really stupid. So just butt them up there as close as possible and you want to drag this layer down to your mask layer. It's the third from the left. Now with that with that mask layer selected, you want to grab your gradient tool and you want to go oops, you want to go from bottom to top. And that'll go from a a zero or a hundred percent transparent to a zero percent transparent that right there looks pretty good but I'm gonna take the overall now that we have the nice gradient I'm gonna take the overall and lessen it to about 75 percent you can go more if you like if you want just a touch of glare I like to see it so we're gonna leave it at 75 percent because I'm doing the tutorial so there you have that and if you wanna just add a a uh, a little touch of uh, uh, of shadow underneath the world which I think would look really nice want uh, zero hardness want a real nice soft soft edge there you have it there is your world uh, with a reflection on a glass surface, water surface, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you just come up to save as, drop down to a JPEG if you want to save it as a picture, and you are done. That uh, that concludes this tutorial.